Shocking. Gunmen asked troops to vacate Plateau community ahead of planned attack. Hello, my wonderful people. This is Nigeria where criminals have become very emboldened because the federal government of Nigeria is practically doing nothing particularly to stop the activities. If they are, we should have gotten a hike of what is going on. Today's day and age, there is enough technology to detect where these people truly are. So what is happening is uh, a distraction, making the people feel that they are doing something when truly, really, maybe they are enjoying it, part of it, or they are people who do not want this thing to end because of their affiliation with it. Probably is what foils them. Only God truly knows. You see, now, Nigerian troops... I mean, we are sent to villages in Plateau and um, to protect the people and prevent attack. But guess what? Gunmen so bold. Which are these? Who are these gunmen? You and I know them. Okay? The bandits. Full and eight men, right? They call them bandits. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Troops. Gunmen ask troops to vacate Plateau community ahead of planned attack. A company of soldiers were recently deployed to areas following reported attack on villages by gunmen. The troops working under the Army Operation Safe Haven, OPSH, had in the past two months stopped attackers from invading the villages. Insider acknowledgeable about the operation told the cable that the attackers has written to the villagers asking them to inform the troops to leave their locations as they plan to attack the community. We strategically put out, put out troops in a border area between the village and the mountains from which the attackers come from, one of the source has said. Many times they have tried to jump on the village, but they were stopped by the troops in heavy crossfire. In the past one month, we have had gunfire with them and lost two of our soldiers. Just a few days ago, the villagers brought a note from the attackers asking the troops to leave that location so that they can successfully attack. In fact, they threatened that if the soldiers don't leave, they will be the first to be attacked. Many military sources said the development had already been communicated to the operation headquarters. The cable understands that part of what was sought from the headquarters is a, reform is a reinforcement to avoid a situation where troops are overwhelmed when the attackers strike. This is to ensure that they make the troops afraid so that they can attack. Some army commanders in the area were said to have earlier attempted to break peace between the attackers of the villagers, the cable was informed. One of the leaders of the attackers, so said, was invited for a dialogue. When, they, when some farmers were killed on their farmland because they can't enter into the village and launch an attack. The soldiers won't allow them. They now wait for some farmers to enter their farms and there they will go and attack them, a source has explained. It could be difficult to ask soldiers to now follow each villager to the farm. So we thought we could break peace through dialogue with these guys. We made a call through. An, agree an arrangement was reached, but they, but they won't attack the. Was reached that they won't attack the villagers again. Then at least we can have three weeks gone, and there was no attack on any farm. It was shocking on to see later threats, that but our troops are standby and we won't allow them to take over our village. So you see Nigerian army calling troops to negotiate. Are you listening? They called them, they came, they successfully talked, and they allowed them to go back. Nothing was done whatsoever. They were not held back to say, yes, we found you. Why are you doing this or why are you doing that? But you see IPOB, Nigerian government said never would they negotiate with them. Does that sound like a fair, balanced position in this country? This is between me and you. IPOB, they killed those boys kill people's sons and daughters as we speak. There was a 21-year-old girl who suddenly went missing. 
The parents went to the police station, went everywhere asking, where is our daughter? All of a sudden she's missing. It was later somebody, you know, in confidence just told them that they've taken her to Abuja. <laughs> what did she do? Was she found with a gun? Did she commit a crime? They said no. And somebody said, somebody, some, somebody, somebody, somebody said that uh, she is befriending, also she's a girlfriend to an IPUB member. Hence, they've taken her. And the parents, after a hundred days, had to write to uh, Osibanjo. That matter has gone cold. We've not heard the latest from it. This young girl was taken away. They said she was 21 year old, that she was a girlfriend to an IPOB member. That was the crime she committed in this country, that she was a girlfriend to an IPOB member. So that's the crime. The parents, through, through, the, uh, through the courts, everything has written to say, you know, they should free the girl. But guess what? You know, Nigeria, no, 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 no law and order. They refuse to let her go, you know, and much more. These are things going on in this country. Nobody has asked them a single question. No? Nothing has been done in that light. Nobody has said, oh, what's going on? This is not right. This is not fair. Let us put things in order. No, nothing. IPOB, they shoot them aside. But here, Nigerian soldiers are going to negotiate with those that, according to them, that they say they come from the mountains. Yes? They come from the mountains, they come to attack people, and they go scot free. Nothing be done in that light in that regard. Nothing whatsoever been done. Are you hearing me? But Nigerians, they say Nigerians should be killed. Okay, IPOB should be killed. Oh, they did this, they did that. Do you understand? So you can see what is going on in this country. Your eyes can see, your ear can hear. You are well prevailed to what is going on. This is Nigeria where injustice is the order of the day. And you want peace to reign. Eh? IPOB have said sit at home order because of the same your oppression. Nigerian government is saying never. But they negotiate with bandits. They negotiate very well with Boko Haram. They negotiate very well with Fulani headsmen. In fact, they tell the whole country, the 36 states of the federation, that the governors should go ahead and they should give them what we call lands to do ruga. You, do you see what is going on? Just a food for thought. Leave us a comment. Do not forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Remember to like or share, subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.